couple of overtime we start a nine day stretch with four Bring games is an ideal, us. but uh, the win is ideal. How important is that result for you right here, right now? Yeah, I think the, over the course of it, the things that we we put ourselves in a position to win, and you know, then it looked like it kind of slipped away. So, um, you know, to, to to walk out of here with a with a W with two teams that were scratching and fighting to to really get a win at um, you know the quarter mark of the season for us and. Um, yeah, it's huge just to walk out of here with a win. Some great shot making at the end, Harvey's shot, X's shot to put into double overtime. And, um, you know, there was moments that we showed composure. There was moments that we had some some pretty pretty big brain fades as well. So, um, you know, you look back at it, it was a, it was a roller coaster and, um, you know, somehow we, we finished on top. To let that winning lead slip right on the end of regulation, then fall behind, you know, to look like Hawks had the momentum there. What what happened then to bring you guys back into it? Yeah, it was a good good resilience. You know, we we sat down and guarded some people, and you know there was some tough covers. You know, Harvey, we got we let him get going a little bit early on in the game and he was feeling good. And um, so, you know, for the rest of the game, we, we did a pretty solid job after that first quarter. Um, you know, Siva became the guy that had the ball in his hands a lot. And, um, you know, even though he didn't have a great shooting percentage, I thought he had a fair impact on the game and was a big part of um, um, frolling, you know, being really effective today in the, in the, in the passes that, that he hit him with you know, coming down the lane. Um, you know, I think in, in those moments, you kind of just pick a couple of plays to say, hey, this is, how, this is what we're going to play out of and trust it. And, um, you know, X, you know, put himself in, in the middle of the floor at different times. And I thought he showed really good composure with his mid range as it kind of went back from that one point game for a while and um, executed well. But yeah, there's still just huge growth that needs to happen with us offensively to, to make sure that um, we're all on the same page and, and getting the shots that we want. Just elaborate on the football player of the game. What part of his game impressed the coach the month? Yeah, you know, we we started in Mon Siva, but, you know, I thought that, you know, from half time or you know, even quarter time afterwards we really put him on Harvey and he, he was locked in and that was a you know a, a factor in um, you know, us getting the win and um, obviously hit the floor a few times, got some some little things but he just kept getting back up and, and making plays. So um, yeah, just the confidence he had to to shoot some of those balls and, and, and knock them in in, in in that first overtime. Yeah, the Hawks looked really under the day, much better than in any of the previous games that they've played. That, was that a worrying sign for you in any of those timeouts when you were talking to the boys? Yeah, and, you know, I thought we we discussed it this morning. We, you know, this is a um, a hardworking town, and you know, whenever you take a couple of losses. Um, you know, you kind of pride yourself on on what this community is, and so we knew we were in for a hell of a battle today, um, and 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 they gave it to us. And um, you know, we needed a really aggressive, strong, tough game like that. And so, um, yeah, certainly as a coach, you you worry at different times, but um, um, you know, glad our boys you know rebounded the ball well um, for the most part, and you know, stuck with stuck with the coverages that we were, we were comfortable with. Um, we've had a long week of preparation and um, you know coming to Melbourne United everything is about winning winning and culture and uh, the standard we set in the in the first couple games wasn't us and um, we wanted to come out here and play Melbourne United basketball. We wanted to defend at a high level. Um, and then on the offensive end, great, get great shots. Um, and we tried to do that tonight. And me coming back here was uh, emotional for me. It was a, it's a place where I started my NBL career and um, have some, some deep roots and ties to. Um, and, and I just wanted to come out here and just do whatever it took to, to help us win. You would be out for Monday night, maybe the ankle. I'll be good to go. Yes, and as you mentioned, Monday night, it's a short turnaround. Perth will be hungry after having a few losses. How are you going to look into that one? Yeah, you know, fortunately, we've 
you know, Shay Ely's kind of passed the fitness test, and so hopefully they can rest X for a few minutes on, on Monday night. And I think any time um, you go against Perth, having, you know, an extra high-level defender to, to, you know, try and slow Cotton down as, as much as you can is important. But you're right, you know, they'll, they'll be grumpy um, about, you know, losing an, another game at home. And, um, you know, we expect nothing less than the, the, the battle that we got today. Michael? Yeah, Dean, hi, X. Um, Dean, just wanting to touch on that emotion from X and um, get a bit of an insight from you on, I guess, how you've gone over the past sort of couple of weeks. It's a different situation that you're dealing with in, in your time at United, and yeah, just interested to hear your thoughts on how you're coping with it all. Uh, yeah, it is, and, I, and I've kind of quoted to say, you know, it, it feels a little bit like my first season um, in New Zealand as a head coach where, um, you know, you had some injuries, you're trying to cover it. And, you know, in that season in New Zealand, I, I pulled Frank, Casey Frank out of the commentary box to be a player. You know, we pulled uh, David Barlow off the coaching staff to, to join us and how great he was, you know, tonight and in, in knocking in triples. And we're just trying to, you know, plug holes right now and, and, until we can get healthy. So, um, you know, it's been a, when you lose, all the players that we lost and all the knowledge of, of our culture and we're trying to reteach it and trying to win games at the same time and so I think that's where we took a step back this week and um, you know as a club and as a front office we, we all got together and we talked about some of the things that weren't acceptable in, in the way that we were playing and, and some things that we wanted to get rid of and so um, you know, tonight we, we started a little different. Um, you know, we tried to trust in those guys, get a bit of a balance in um, how our scoring was going to come throughout the game. And everybody accepted, you know, new and different roles tonight. And, um, you know, there, there was some growth in this game. Can you give us a bit of insight into sort of, you know, being tough off the bench and, and day off the bench and starting D7 Lockie? Yeah, you know, Barlow's been coming off, you know, this... this um, elbow, he hasn't really practiced too much. You know, uh, David Cuero was voted by the players, you know, our best player off the last game. And so when it's, you know, when we've got this kind of cultural thing going on about, you know, hey, hey he's doing great. And we've got to reward those things right now. I've got to show the boys that it's it's not just lip service. If you play the way that everybody wants you to play, you, there's going to be more rewards for you. And so, um, you know, that one and, you know, the lucky one just coming back into the team, it's like, hey, we trust you. We don't know how many games you're going to play this year for us, but we trust you. Come out there, give us everything you got. And, you know, having Tuck come off the bench was just, you know, we thought at the back end of quarters we hadn't um, been effective enough. So just having him there a little bit fresher and being able to sub a little differently was, was important to the way that we went about it tonight. Did you see the incident um, with Tuck and Dan Dan Lake? Have you got any concerns over that? Other than I didn't think there was much in it, um, you know, unsportsmanlike. I thought he had someone shrugged over him, and you know, he kind of stood up, and yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't see an unsportsmanlike in it. But that's what they called. Um, so yeah, I don't think we've got anything to worry about right there.